Yeah, Julian uh, Hönig, you are exterior designer. Yeah. And um, yeah, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about your job. Yeah, my job is basically, uh, like you said, exterior design of cars. So it's really the outside shape, like a sculpture. And uh, we work in Ingolstadt, and we have what our team is, you know, we have in, in Munich, Ingolstadt, uh, California. I work in Ingolstadt, and we do, yeah, we do all kinds of work. We do, of course, production cars, mm -hmm. and also sometimes we do show cars, and very a few times we do movie cars. So we did one movie car, the car we see here behind us, and of course, already a, a show car is already more advanced and more futuristic than the production cars. But in a movie car, you can go really two steps ahead because you have no limitations, you have no ergonomy, you have no laws, you can go really crazy. So this is the, the, the funny thing. Uh, you sometimes even have physics. Uh, you have to uh, follow uh, some, some rules of physics. Yeah, of course. You have the, uh, in, you have in, in case of this car, <laughs> somebody had to sit in the car. Of course, yeah. this was important for the car. Yeah. But other than that, so normally you have, you know, if, if you heard, you can hear this here, you can hear here if, if there is an accident. But with the movie car, it, you know, this is much more tolerant, you can go really wild. Like what we see in the car here, we use show cars also to, to, to have a look in the future and we use certain elements in our production cars as well. So it's about using elements, first we go crazy, but then we go back to, to production. So this is the idea. Can you show us some features or, or some uh, but, yeah. aspects? Uh, so let's start with the crazy things. The, the, op the door opens like a butterfly to uh -huh. the back, so it's, it's yeah. mounted here. So this would be not for a production car, of course. Yeah. But if you look at surfaces like right here, the sweep here, the air intake, it's uh, like the, our new uh, sport the car, R8, the R8, yeah. for example. Yeah. So this is things we can really translate into the production. So this, uh, of course, like the wheels. Uh, very the wheel, the, we have no wheels, we have spheres. So yeah. this is really special. This is, this is something futuristic, something really special for the movie I Robot. Mm -hmm. But on the other, other, other hand, if you look here at the hood, how it's modeled, light and shadow, yeah. this is also aspects we can use in the production mm -hmm. car. Yeah. So. And you also use the single frame wheel, I think, here? Exactly. When we look in the front, this is Audi, it's new icon, the four rings in the single frame. And for us, it's really important to feature this. And when, the, when the, the, the car came out for the movie, it was the A6 already on the street with the single frame. And with this car, again, we featured the, the single frame grill. That's why we said, even in the future, we want to keep the, the, the logo for now. Huh? Yeah. And the single frame grill, uh, I think it's um, you have a um, yeah, uh, race cars. You have race cars in the 20s or 30s. Uh, who use all of this? Yeah, the Auto uh, Union sports Auto cars. Union sports cars. Exactly. Yeah. So this was a little bit development from this. Oh. And even like you said, Audi, we have strong genes in our brand, like how the surface is, and especially I think Audi was very popular with the architectural cars, really simple, simple cars, simple lines, and I also tried to put this, this simple lines into this car, but between those lines, a little bit more shape in the surface. Yeah. So keeping the same concept, Audi, architectural straight, but a little bit more movement. So this is this is the idea. Uh -huh. And uh, what is more fun to do, uh, sport, uh, sports cars or um, mass production cars, middle class cars? Okay, if you ask fun, <laughs> it's of course the crazy stuff. But uh, if as a challenge, it's, it's for me the challenge. Of course, is, is, is equal because in production cars you have to you have so many regulations and to make something special, this is really tough. So this is again, it's a challenge, and uh, I think it's also fun. It takes more time, of course. Production car, show car is, in general, we work one year on the show car. With every means, the first sketch, to the model, to the finished show car, and production cars, it's yeah, two, three years yeah. at least. So this, it, it, this is a big difference between a show car and a production car. Um, is there, that's also always a secret about uh, new cars, yeah. and um, you are covering the cars or disguising the, the cars uh, very um, very often with uh, some, yeah, I don't know, uh, uh, very crazy stuff. stuff. Sometimes, of course, the logo is always uh, gone. We put something on the logo, not to see the brand. And yeah, this is important to keep it secret because like also as an artist here, you don't want to have your work pre-shown pre before the show it starts. Yeah. That's, that's normal and especially with show cars, we are very it's a very big security to keep it really secret until the Big Bang, we call it, to, to have the car on the show. 
So there are not uh, very few people who uh, really uh, saw the car before uh, going to production. No, it's, it's, uh, of course in Audi it's also limited. So it means that the, the, the member of the board, the, the design department, we see the cars, but sometimes uh, people who work also for Audi, they see it uh, first time when it's on the street more or less, because this is absolutely uh, security. Your background? Um studied um, design? Design. I studied industrial design, product design in uh, Austria, in Graz, in the, in the school. And then I uh, had the chance to go with Audi to the art center in Pasadena to go more into the, the, the car design. Mm -hmm. So this was, was my background. And yeah, luckily when I came back from the school, the first project was uh, yeah, the sport car and mm -hmm. uh, the RSQ. So this was, I was really lucky. Uh -huh. so, yeah, perfect. Hey, cool. Because I, I was never the type who wanted to make sport cars, sport cars, sport cars. I never drew Ferrari or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, this just happened and yeah. I said, well, I try, yeah. I give my best, I do yeah. something new. And yeah. Yeah. How did you discover your talent for design? Uh, or when, when did you want to discover design? When, when will I discover? When did you have the feeling, hey, that's what I want to do? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, actually, a friend of mine who is an artist and he's also in the, in the Basel. Yeah. Yeah. He showed me the the, the school once, uh, industrial design, and he started there already one year. And I was immediately I was impressed. I was never into. Uh, I like design, of course, always, but I was never super into. I didn't know much about the industrial design. But when I saw the school, people really working with their hands, making sculptures. I was like, okay, I like this, and I started. And then car design. During school, I saw the sketches, you know, in the magazines, and then I said, oh, that, that was the next step. I said, I want to do this car design. Mm -hmm. So it was never that I was like the, the five year old mm -hmm. boy, cars, cars, cars. cars. Yeah. It just happened, and uh, yeah, I think it's a nice job. It's a good mix mm -hmm. between the, the art and uh, technique. I think it, yeah. I like this aspect. Yeah. You want you also a bit restrictions you have here because you're not completely free like an artist uh, to do whatever he wants but you have restrictions aerodynamics techniques and that's, all. that's that's true but on the other hand this is you know if, if you have nothing you know you, you have to start with an empty sheet mm -hmm. it's also very hard sometimes yeah, yeah. but it's also interesting to have um, some points where you say around those points I have to make something new and create something and this is a challenge but sometimes I admit I paint Mm -hmm. And I make crazy paintings. This is my. If I said, okay, I have to get a free, pr my free mind. Yeah. I, I, I paint. So. Yeah. What do you uh, recommend young uh, uh, designers? Um, yeah. To, to the do or um, how should they um, yeah. uh, go into the business? In general, I would say that the, to learn the techniques. Everybody can do it, so I would suggest to, to just keep on working, like sketches for example, it's, especially for car design, it's still we like to see a lot of uh, hand sketches and, and Photoshop and, and just nice drawings, but this is not all of course, so no, the, the, the basis has to be there, but everybody who is desperate and says, oh he cannot paint, I, I tell you, you can learn it, everybody can learn this, so, but yeah, just go what you like, what you feel, and, and, and when it comes to a point where you say, should I do chairs? cars, uh, airplanes, you should really do this what you what you feel and and even if it's not working at the first time just go ahead, try it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a dream? Uh, do you have something you would like to design? Something else uh, than cars? Good question. I never thought about this. <laughs> Yeah. When I'm walking around here, I see a lot of interesting stuff and said, okay, this could be a nice influence for me and yeah, let's see. For now, I'm happy with the cars. Okay.